extra. Read all about it. Yes, yes, we are here at the Weekend Romance. These are your weekend predictions for love and romance for the weekend of November 8th through the 10th. 8th, 9th, and 10th, kind of, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, around there, uh, for all signs that will be time stamped. You'll see in the description box below, and I'll leave it in one of the comments as well. I'm going to start over here with full spread um, read for each of the zodiac signs, and then there's also going to be a, an extended video as well. You'll find that link down below for um, a, a fuller, more in-depth understanding of what's going on this weekend. Welcome to Born Without Boundaries, guys. My name is Michelle, and this is my channel. Welcome if you are first a first-time viewer. Please click subscribe um, and help the channel grow. Click that bell so you know when I go live, which is usually every single day, Monday through Friday. Um, you can join in our free readings that I do after the daily tarots. Those are awesome. Uh, or please do like this video if you like this video and share this video. Um, there's lots of good information coming. There's a lot of good uh, content coming up. We do the weekly horoscopes. We do, um, I do the weekly horoscopes. I, it's <laughs> just me. <laughs> I do the weekly horoscopes and I also do um, new moon, full moon readings and predictions. The full moon in Taurus is coming up soon. So I'll be getting that one out this week for all zodiac signs. And I'm also doing a cancer focus focused video as well to help people understand a little bit about the cancer circumstance and what we go through and why we are so moody all the time. So we'll get into that too. But today, this is the weekend romance um, and we're going to get into it. Let's just go. Um, if you are on platforms that allow for commercial interruptions, there will be one in a couple of seconds. Uh, thank you so much preemptively. That commercial uh, running is actually a donation to the channel because the commercials actually help to sponsor the channel. So I am very grateful and I will see you in a couple of seconds. All right, let's get into it. Scorpio, you're at the top of the list because it's your season. Your predictions for this weekend romance, Scorpio? At, I gotta take, I gotta take my timestamps down. Or else I'm always looking for them all over the place. <laughs> I'm kid kidding. Uh, yeah, I really am that girl. So 235 Scorpio. Let's do this. Turn on your heart light. Reflect on a time when you experienced love. What did I say in this? In, it's so it's so amazing. In this weekly prediction, I told you that there's going to be a breakthrough. This is the time when you turn on your heart light and you allow yourself to feel vulnerable because you're going to make a major breakthrough in love. It may happen for some of you this weekend, and that's what it's saying. Turn on your heart light because your person is looking for you, and this is the week they're going to see you. Bada bing, it's time to release negative energy, full moon in Scorpio. For you to have this in your reading is to say that this is message is definitely for you. Scorpio, this weekend is the time for you to prepare yourself. Turn on your heart light and free up your heart. Full moon, there will be a full moon coming up in Taurus, but this card is representative of let go of the past, let go of the negative energies, let go of the heartache, the heartbreak, the hurt, the pain, the suffering, the sorrow, let go of the disappointments and expecting the worst. Let go of it because your heart needs to shine. You need to get that shine on. Shine it up. Shine it up this weekend, Scorpio because I promise you something is coming in for you for love this week. It is a huge week, a breakthrough week for you. And this weekend is the week that you, the, this weekend is your time to get your shine on, but you're not going to get it on if it's hidden by all this negativity and all this sorrow and all this heartache. If you're expecting the worst, your heart is not going to shine. And then that person, that person that's looking for you, they're not going to see it. But this is also talking about open up your heart, do good things for people. This is a time and a moment where you're almost going to be inspired to be humanitarian or philanthropic. Open up your heart, follow your heart, abandon it, throw caution to the wind as if you were never hurt before, as this, as this, as if you have never loved before, you were never disappointed before, as if it were the very first time, pure and crystal clear. Change that bulb if you got to, Scorpio, but this weekend is that weekend to let your love shine through. Ooh, it could not have been more clear, Scorpio. 
God bless. Let's do Sagittarius 501. Sag, let's see what energies are coming toward you. Love makes the difference. There's going to be a very supportive energy this weekend. You're going to be supporting somebody that loves you or they're going to be supporting you. You need, you. there's something going on where, you, where it's affecting you. There's a little bit of a, a struggle, maybe with work, maybe with family. There's some sort of heartache and your loved one, your lover, your husband or your wife, whether you're in a committed relationship or not, there is this feeling of them coming through and being there to support you or you being there to support them. You may be the one being the support system, Sagittarius. Work through your fears, new moon in Scorpio. There is something that's concerning you a great deal and it's going to be the support from your loved ones or the support that you give to somebody this weekend, Sagittarius, that is going to make the difference in their life. This, 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 um, Full moon, this new moon in Scorpio is a tremendous amount of intensity. So there's great potential for tremendous amounts of sensuality, sexuality, sexiness, and attractiveness to be hitting you this week, this weekend. So Sagittarius, if you are looking for somebody, this is a really good weekend to find somebody that you'll have a lot of chemistry with. But since you're going through so much, you may be tempted to use it as a little bit of an escape. I would say stay closer to the home front and, and don't get two head over heels into a situation where um i don't know you may be moving too quickly and too soon and too passionately before you actually know this person well enough to know if they're worth it just because something is going on at, close to your personal space that you really need the release from this weekend i think it's going to be a tremendous weekend if you are ready to meet somebody and you are ready to be um yeah, like like if you're ready to be in love, this is going to be a great weekend to meet somebody. Turn on that heart song, uh, let it out, let them know that you're interested. Don't be afraid of making the first move. Gosh, Sagittarius, nice. All right, 709, we're moving on to Capricorn. Capricorn, your energy for this weekend is... Act as if your partner is here. You may be spending some time away from your partner this weekend, or maybe, maybe just maybe, you're coming back together after spending a long time apart. There was a sense, there is a sense of distance and the two of you missing each other. So this could be a weekend that you finally get to spend with each other after you've been apart for a long time, or you may be spending it apart because of business trip, one thing after another other family obligations, etc., that you're going to have to be talking and communicating over the phone with each other, maybe Skyping each other, but definitely having that feeling and momentum of they're still here, they're still around me, having faith in the relationship. Your partner, your dance partner is here. So if you're single, Capricorn, this is a great, great time for you to put yourself in that mindset of they're already here. I'm already in a relationship. I'm already in love. I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm in love because this is a tremendous energy of you being able to call in your soulmate this weekend. Let's get your moon card. Nothing is yet set, it's set in stone. So there you go. So there's nobody yet chosen for you, Capricorn, but you are calling them in. So the universe is listening to you and it's malleable enough to do what you want. So be very careful with your thoughts this weekend concerning love and romance and with your um and with your words this weekend concerning love and romance because the universe is listening and wants to manifest what you want so be very very specific i know you're very good at being articulate capricorn so try to be very very specific when it comes to manifesting your love or the love that you desire or a strengthening a strengthening of your love or a clarifying of your love if there has been things going a little bit rough nothing is set in stone no Nobody's determined anything. Nobody's going to leave anybody. Nobody's going to commit majorly to anybody. But there is, there is a sense of Capricorn, you having the power this weekend to call in and manifest like the universe is open to, to your input, wants to know what you want. Be very, very articulate and make sure that you tell the universe exactly what you want. Open up your full heart. And definitely, if you are ready, ready to call in new love, do it this weekend because the universe is listening. Mmm. Nice one, Capricorn. That's cool. Let's go on to Aquarius at 949. Mm, here we go. Wow. 
have patience. Love is patient and kind always. Uh, Aquarius, this is your card. This is the star card. This is the star card um, it, for this deck. This is wishes come true, wishes fulfilled. Somebody that you have basically made up and manifested in your dreams could be coming near you and or dear to you. Or this weekend you're going to be engaging. And, and especially if you're with a Scorpio, because go watch Scorpio's reading Aquarius because a Scorpio got this card. Um, not got this card, but Scorpio did not get this card, but they got this reading that if they were engaged in doing something humanitarian, they were going to find somebody that they love. And this could very well be you on the other side of that. There is definitely this feeling of engaging something or someone engaging in something that you love and, in, and inevitably um being led to love through it it's like your mind isn't even on love this weekend but it could lead you to it this is definitely something though that you've idealized for a very long time somebody that you thought was probably just a dream but they aren't just a dream they are definitely sending in the abundance and manifesting down onto earth so if you've been wishing and hoping for love or hoping to strength your, strengthen your love if you're already in a couple this is definitely that weekend to do it hold your vision what did i say you aquarius are manifesting your partner you are creating them essentially you have the master creativity the creation right here in your hands to call them in especially this weekend the energy is very powerful for you to use your mind and use your creativity to invent the person that you want the universe is listening and it basically is saying your wishes are coming true if there has been a long desire if there has been a long need for love not that you need to be in love not that any of us need to be in love but do we want it? Yes, we really do. And if this has been sincerely in your heart for a very long time, somebody is sending blessings from above and answering your prayers. This is prayers being answered, essentially. I'm really excited for you guys. All right, 1209, we're going on to Pisces. Pisces, this weekend, let's see what the energies are. Take a chance on love. Um, this is my card where the two of you are traveling at the same road, but you weren't traveling together, but you meet on the same road because you were traveling toward the same direction. So this is coming into contact with somebody this week that's involved in your social activities, your professional activities, somebody that you would not have expected to meet, somebody that you bumped into. This was also part of Scorpio's reading too. Scorpio is spreading out their wings. You could be involving with, uh, involved with Scorpio connecting deeply with a Scorpio this weekend, but whoever it is, there's somebody on the same trajectory as you, which I think is what's important. They're into the same things. They do the same things. They have a lot in common. So you're already starting out on the right foot, but this is saying you Pisces, take a chance on love, show your love, demonstrate it. Let them know that you're interested because it's a really good opportunity for you this weekend to show your feelings and let yourself be vulnerable because there's a good possibility that the receptivity will be very 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 high the energy is gaining momentum it's coming into you and look at how beautiful this is like sunrise for the moon it's so beautiful there's a lot of beauty and a lot of abundance and i feel like this person is going to be very very attractive very dreamy which is something that you're going to love very creative and uh, open to infinite possibilities is who they are so you have a beautiful chance of meeting somebody who whose head may be in the clouds but whose heart is in the absolute right place that's why you might have to make the first move. But aren't you the, the perfect person to be able to basically become a part of their waking dream because you are the sign of dreams. And I think maybe this is somebody you can meld dreams with, Pisces. Mm. All right, 14, 15, we're moving on to Aries. Aries in love, weekend romance. All right. Consider your foundation. There is somebody in your life that you're actually looking to move to the next step with. This is 
This is house, this is home, moving in with somebody, buying a home with somebody, or actually them popping the question to you this weekend. This is a new moon right above the house, which means new beginnings, new things or leveling up are happening for you in your relationship areas. If you are single, this means that you could be meeting somebody that could be your long-term partner that would go long-term with you and eventually end up being your spouse. Mm. All right, adjustments are required, okay? So this speaks more to people who are in long-term relationships. There will definitely be conversations about your future. There will be, be very, very frank, be very, very honest this weekend, Aries. You know, Jupiter is also being very, very beneficial to you as well this week and into December. So know that what you say will be taken very, very well. So be honest and open and have that those adult conversations because if you're... If your relationship is going to level up, then you're going to have to talk very candidly about things that could be difficult, like finances, money, uh, do you intend to have children, what religion you are, things that could be tougher conversations are things that you're going to have to talk about and be able to talk about if you're leveling up with somebody and going on to the next step. Finances, especially if you're thinking about mortgaging a house with somebody that, or moving in with somebody there, you have to be very, very frank and upfront with somebody and be very realistic to be idyllic. Idealistic this weekend is not a good idea for you, Aries. You have to be realistic and you have to be very straightforward. You may have to be willing to compromise in order to make your dreams come true. Please be prepared for that. Now, um, Aries that are single, you may have to give somebody a chance that you normally, this is like a partner that you normally would not have given a chance to. This is somebody that you normally would not have seen or noticed or, you know, accepted a drink from. But this is the right weekend to take that new chance and to try something that you normally would not have tried. It will, it will actually open up doors for you and it could lead to the commitment that you've actually wanted. Mm. All right, Aries, we're going on to Taurus, Taurus at 1615, Taurus, Taurus energies heading into your full moon on the 12th. Actions speak loudly. You're going to have to say it, say it out loud, talk it out loud, make the first move, be bold, be brave. Taurus, all eyes are on you. We're going to be wrapped up in the glory of your full moon soon. The energies are picking up. This beautiful energy of Venus filling us up, beauty and abundance, but also wanting to have stability in our lives. All right, okay, well, you're the one who knows exactly what you want and you're the one that's going to have to say it. So if you're in a long-term relationship, be very articulate with what you want, but definitely express your love. I think that's the most important message is express your love this weekend, Taurus. Let somebody know. If you're out at a bar and you're single, if you're interested in somebody, go for it. Take the chance. Be bolder than you normally would. You're going to come across as warm and your warmth and your kindness and your tenderness are going to show through. In fact, they're going to make somebody feel very, very at ease being around you and be able to open up to you. It's going to help them a lot. Conclusions are within reach. Full moon eclipse. Okay, so there you go. You'll know right away. In other words, it's going to be very, very clear. Have that have that courage to make the first move or say things and you'll see the results right away. The, the conclusions will come. If somebody's not interested in you, you'll know it right away. If somebody is interested in you, you'll know it right away. There's not going to be any games and you'll be able to see very, very clearly what your propositions, what kind of ears your propositions have fallen on. Were they interested? Were they not? I feel like there are going to be a lot more yeses than nos, but even the nos are going to be liberating for the next potential right around the corner. Like Taurus, even if you get rejected, you're going to have more options this, this weekend. So this is a great time to be bold and to have faith in yourself and know that you will be very well received or that your actions and your boldness will be very well received by the universe and they will work in your favor. Ooh, nice one, Taurus. Nice one, Gemini. Gemini at 1914. Okay. 
Gemini, here we go. Energies for Gemini, be in the present and dream of the future. This is destiny and fate and alignment. And this is going to happen because of Jupiter going back into Sagittarius. Um, after... Um, after uh, retrograding into Scorpio for so long, which is why your love life might have been a little bit wonky, but now it's back in a very favorable sign and the stars are aligning for you. Gemini, there is something popping off this weekend for you. It's a feeling of opportunity coming in, um, opportunities that you've probably wanted for quite some time, or maybe you haven't even been thinking about it doesn't matter because they're aligning this weekend. You might might meet somebody who sort of broadens your mind, expands your mind. You're going to love the way that they talk. You're going to love to listen to them. You're going to love the way that they think. This could be an Aquarius energy that's coming through for you. Um, it's just somebody who makes you feel like the world is bigger and larger because you now know them or because you've spoken to them. They're going to intrigue you and it's going to be all the stars aligning to basically push your life forward. This person that you could meet this weekend is going to add to your life in an in, in awakening kind of way. Um, the end of a tough cycle, what did I just say? <laughs> the end of a tough cycle approaches. So Gemini, if you've been in relationships that have not, I feel like this, is, this has been the case for you for the past couple of months, that un, like very um, unlike normally your life, you've been having trouble with relationships or people have been irritating you or you've been on the brink of breaking up with somebody or stuck in a relationship that you don't want to be in, which you normally wouldn't be stuck. You wouldn't normally feel stuck, but, um, there, there is a sense, there is a, there is, um, sort of a sentiment of this finally coming to an end and all the stars aligning in your favor. In other words, Jupiter aligning in your favor to come clear all that up. If you've wanted to get out of a relationship, Gemini, this is the perfect time to do it. I think you'll see clearly and you'll get the boldness and you'll get sort of detached from whatever manipulation has been going on. I got this in your general reading and, and, and look at that. Look at the week ahead because it talks all about that with the romance over um, on the extended. Talks all about that this but definitely stars are coming back into your favor and relationships are going to start making a lot more sense again Gemini Whew. cancer cancer at 2154 let's do this cancer all right cancer <laughs> oh okay you know some I try to be objective but I'm a cancerian and look what I just pulled what? Cancerian this weekend? This weekend? What is going on? Something is picking up, Cancerians. You are going to be sideswiped by this potential. You're going to be sideswiped. I'm telling you right now, you're not even going to see it coming. Because we, I, I feel like we have waited so long for new love to come in. Or we've waited so long for somebody to bop the question. Because what's what we do? We get stuck in a rut and we wait. And we, we have a hard time knowing what our next step is. And we certainly have a hard time making the first move, which could be part of what... Um, part of what contributes to our staying stuck because a lot of times you have to be your own momentum and we're not we wait for somebody else to make the first move to see if they want what we want cancerian kismet is happening this weekend true love is coming into you you are going to feel the power of love there will be some lip locking there will be some flirtation and there will be some major potential shooting off this weekend for some of you, there is just going to be that big bang, boom, miracle happening. Your true love, your divine partner is coming in. Balance spirituality and practicality. Pisces, this is a favorable moon for you. It talks about balance. It talks about being honest with your emotions. It talks about being comfortable with your emotions, being comfortable with yourself, Cancerian, in order to let yourself shine through so that somebody sees the real you so they'll fall all over you and in love with you because you're just absolutely irresistible. This could also speak to couples um, getting an even stronger, deeper understanding of each other, having the talk about, well, what 
what if we get married or have you thought about it? Yes, they've thought about it. And yes, you're going to talk about it this weekend. This could be also, maybe you're dealing with an Aries, you leveling up with somebody this weekend, but having a real talk, having a real conversation about it, because that's what adults do when they're leveling up and thinking about getting in deeper with somebody. But this is definitely a relationship that's meant to last. It's built to last and it's just going to stay the distance so you can have a lot of confidence and faith in it. Cancerians, your love life is about to turn around. It is about to go into the direction that you've always wanted wanted but given up hope for that's that's what it is and it's good because it's going to sideswipe you and surprise you in the most beautiful romantic storybook perfect way this weekend oh my god i could not have asked for more you could be connecting with the pisces too that's also that's also um a, a pretty strong possibility um uh, so now we have 24 no 25 on the dot let's do leo Leo in love this weekend. Rest and relaxation is essential. We all have a fundamental need to take a break. You've been dreaming about somebody. You've been connecting with them in your dreams. And I feel like you have been on this rest from love. And maybe just maybe you're still in a slumber this weekend or some of you are starting to wake up. It could be with a water sign. It could be with Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This love is awakening. It's a very tender love. It's a very gentle love. It's an energy that will sort of wrap around you and comfort you and make you feel warm and at ease. You have definitely been dreaming of this person or wanting this person for a very very long time. Um, they could be a little bit older than you. There could be an age gap. Something may have kept you apart, but I feel that you're growing closer together or at least getting more comfortable with the idea of being with them so that when you do actually get the opportunity to be with them, it's going to just fly off. It's going to, it's going to go really rapidly and really quickly. Show the world the real you. Full moon in Aquarius. Ooh, Leo, wake up. That's what it, that's what this is saying. Let let it out. Let them know who you really are, what really means everything to you. Let them know that they mean so much to you. Let it out this weekend. Um there if especially if there is somebody that's uh, that's on your mind, definitely wake up and take a chance with them this weekend. Like do it. Just do it or have faith have faith if you're in a relationship with somebody have faith in them have uh, show them that you have faith in them um, support them and be extremely supportive of them they're probably going to need it this weekend if you're single you're coming out of a long slumber you're finally like back in full force in full leo regalia and you're showing everybody exactly what you want out of life especially out of your love life you're showing up with all the bells and whistles and you're making sure that people listen so if you want to get noticed this weekend leo you are definitely going to get noticed this weekend leo mm. uh, and then we have virgo virgo is 27 15 nice virgo let's do this ask for help. Ooh, what do you really need? Be willing to accept support. So this is definitely maybe a chance to strengthen your current relationship by not by relinquishing control and by, by showing your spouse that you trust them and you trust their decisions. And even it, it may not have been what you would have done, but it's what they would have done and you believe in them. So asking for help is a wonderful way to show somebody. In other words, Virgo, you have to be on the receiving end of love this week. You have to allow yourself to be on the receiving end of love this week because it's very important for a healthy relationship to grow is to let somebody know you have confidence in their decisions, in their brain, in their intellect, and in their contributions. And when you ask for help, it's very, very endearing. It's something that people actually want to fill. It gives them a purpose to fill. And I think this could actually work very well to you. Play to your advantage, especially if you're single, Virgo. Playing that damsel in distress will work out for you this weekend. Playing that, uh, can you help me with this, will actually get the attention of somebody who will get, you'll get more attention from than just 
you know, that immediate help that you need. It could be a great line opener, especially if you're dealing with a water sign. Water signs want to be in service to people. And they also like when you make the first move, but this is a subtle way to make that first move, right? It's not coming straight out and just coming on to somebody, but it's engaging their sense of sensibilities to want to be of use and want to help somebody. This is a perfect segue into your relationship. You could be dealing with a Pisces, especially Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. Um, time for healing. Okay. So either you, okay, if you're in a long-term relationship with somebody, you're going to need to just take a respite from making all the decisions and doing everything. I feel like you've been very stressed out and overworked. Just lay it in your spouse's hand this weekend. That's the weekend to do it. If you are single, I feel like there's also a healing process that you need to go, to, go through in order to make yourself believe that somebody could love you and take care of you again there might have been a wound that went very very deep for those of you who are singles and it compromised your ability to trust that somebody would be there for you this is the weekend to test those waters mm. Mm. all right big one libra coming in at uh, 29.59 okay libra let's do this let's do this Love who you are. You are divine, delightful, and deserving of the wonderful things life has to offer. And this is also go where the wind blows this week. Like really, like just follow where the wind blows. Set your sail, hoist your sail, believe in yourself, believe in your beauty. You are very attractive. I think there would be a lot of people singing your praises this weekend, Libra. But also from your perspective, just go where the wind takes you. Like open up your sails and throw caution to the wind and trust in the divine, trust in the direction that it's guiding you because it is because you can handle any direction it guides you into. Um, look at the bigger picture, full moon in Sagittarius. Um, okay, this is interesting. You may actually this weekend, Libra, need to spend time by yourself. It could be very, very good for you to heal yourself and basically just get, get your sense of self back on. Like eight is the sign of eternity, of, um, of, of, of the infinite, right? Eternity. So I, I feel like there's something divine happening here, a, a redirect maybe. Yeah, a guidance system because the arrow is here for Sagittarius. It's like taking aim and going in the right direction, but you don't know what the right direction is. If, look at the bigger picture. Give it over to spirit. Spirit is the bigger picture. That's what you have to do. Trust this weekend wherever spirit takes you. If somebody randomly, like your friend says, hey, want to go with me this weekend? Just say yes because inevitably that's going to be very good for your love life. It could give you time away from your spouse to give you two some room from each other, or it could be guiding you right toward that new partner that you've been looking for, Libra. Whatever it is, be spontaneous and trust in those detours this weekend because that guidance system is all about spirit this weekend and you're just going to have to let them take the wheel. Mm. If you are looking for an extended, more like a deeper look into love for this weekend, come on over. That link is below to the extended weekend romance. I will see you over there. Please do like this video and share it on your social media profiles and help the channel grow by, describe, uh, by subscribing. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you on the other side.